the 787B How did it feel standing on the top step of the podium? I never got there. Oh, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, and I and I never have since. God damn it. Yes. Yeah. Did I answer that question? Yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember if I actually answered it. Yeah, the beauty of the uh, the rotary engine is because there's not many moving parts, and because you haven't got the moving parts, you don't get much vibration. So th th from that, through the chassis to the driver, you didn't get the fatigue. So for that 24 hours, we were able to drive at 100 percent. Uh, and able to get to the end of the race by, by winning. So I think the, the roaches were a very, very important key part to, uh, to the whole project. Sleep. Sleep doesn't seem to be um, a thing that you can really find. You never seem to get the time. You can never switch off. And because we had these rotary engines in it and it was revving to about, I think, 9,000 revs, it was so noisy. So when you actually got out of the car, tried to go back to the caravan to have a sleep, all you could hear every about three and a half minutes was this wow as it went past, the, went past the caravan. So you could never switch off. So that was very, very hard. But again, the only thing I could do, which I learned actually later in that night, was to put some earplugs in. We were really the underdogs. We weren't expected to win it. I think the Mercedes was expected to, to win the race. But what we were able to do is drive at that 100% the whole way through the race. And we kept them under pressure. And that's why I think we, we broke the, the Jaguars and eventually we broke the, the Mercedes as well because they couldn't ease up. And we were able just to go the whole way through to that last lap I remember me doing. Uh, and, just, and just driving it at exactly the same pace that we'd have been doing all the way through the race. And it was very, very important. That was a big key to, uh, to, for us to win that race. Uh, I think it ended up getting banned really because of the way the rules were just changed for, for that race. And I think within the window of opportunity that Mazda had, the technology that, that was being used was, I think, was a, was a long way ahead of its time because no one else had been uh, really using it. No one had developed it. Mazda developed it. We got to a point that we were very, very competitive. And I think it surprised a lot of other people. And because of that, I think there was a lot of pressure from the other manufacturers to, to try, and, try and stop us. And all three of us, to be honest, we drove our absolute nuts off, but I won't say that. Um, I'll do that again. Can I cut halfway through or I have to start the whole yeah, thing again? Yeah, I'll we'll have to think how I can do that one, yeah. yeah. I think for us, Mazda was the ultimate uh, car to race at Le Mans. We'd, we'd known about the rotary engine before we got in, involved with the project, and we knew that that was always its strong, strong part. We had a good chassis, uh, but together we seemed to be able to develop the car to be competitive for that 1991 season. We, as I said, we weren't favourites to win, but everybody else knew that we had the reliability, and that reliability was something that was very, very key for us and Mazda being able to win that 24-hour uh, race. I, I was meant to do, I think, a double stint at the end of the race. And what happened was, because we were in the lead, they were very happy with the pace that I was doing, uh, that they wanted me to do another double stint for the end of the race. But I hadn't taken, I needed fluids thinking this was my last stint. I had no drink in the car. I hadn't eaten before I got in the car either. So at the end of the race, and it was very, very hot. I think it was 35, nearly 40 degrees, very, very hot. And after I ran the race, I think I was just so elated with, with what had happened. I drove all the way around, I got to the pits, and I stepped out of the car, and I think I just got out of the car too quick and my head just completely went, and I, I collapsed into the arms of my father, which is lovely. I've been very, very fortunate, but you know, you've always got to do those results, and the results that are always important for your career are winning Le Mans 24 hours in a Mazda. I'm a rotary addict for sure, yes. Now the rotary summit is in my heart, but what I, the main thing that I remember from driving the car was how smooth it was. And the smoothness is something that I've never ever driven in, in a Formula One car or any other sports car. It's been the smoothest car, race car, that I've ever driven in my life. And I think something like uh, the RX-8 R3 is going to be exactly the same. It's going to have that smoothness, which is going to be a very nice thing to, to have under your bottom. <laughs> but there's nothing to stop you for taking one out for a little bit longer. Just ask your mate, just say hi from Johnny. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>